Hello and welcome. The Results tab in ANSYS Fluent enables the user to visualize and post-process the results of a CFD simulation in a quantitative and qualitative way. While the surface and graphics groups give the qualitative aspect of a simulation result, plots and reports can be used to extract its quantitative aspect. In this lesson, we will be focusing on plots and reports. We will learn how to plot XY graphs how to obtain flux, force, surface integral and volume integral reports, how to generate a detailed simulation report, and much more. Exciting, isn't it? Let's get started. Let's launch ANSYS Fluent in solution mode and load an already simulated case to understand how to use the various post-processing techniques. We will directly go to the Results tab. One of the groups in the Results tab is the Plots group. The Plots group consists of options that help us extract and plot numerical data from a CFD simulation. It allows us to plot data in the XY plot format draw histograms, combine data from multiple sources, control solution residuals and much more. The XY plot option allows us to plot data from the solution for different variables like pressure, density, velocity, etc. along the region of our interest in the model. Click XY plot, select new and a solution XY plot dialog box opens. The selections in the Options group contain check buttons that control the display of node values, the selection of axis functions and the ability to write the plot data to a file. Node values toggles the node averaging of the data presented in the plot. This option is selected by default. When it is enabled, the values that have been interpolated to the nodes are displayed. If the option is disabled, boundary face values are presented. If position on x-axis is enabled, any variable can be plotted on the y-axis as a function of position on the x-axis. Similarly, we can plot a variable on the x-axis as a function of position on the y-axis, provided the position on y-axis is enabled, after disabling position on the x-axis. Write to file activates the file writing option. When this option is selected, the Save Plot Push button will change to Write. Click on Write to save the plot data in the desired folder location. Plot Direction allows us to analyze the results in the desired direction. For this example, the flow is in the Z direction, so we set value for Z as 1 and others to 0. The Y axis function drop-down has different variables. Let's select Pressure as the property to analyze and keep the x-axis function to Direction Vector. Note that the option Curve Length in the x-axis function is only supported when the curvilinear surface is piecewise linear and has only one closed curve like a complete circle. Next is the Surfaces list. It contains the list of surfaces that can be selected from the solution domain. We can select multiple surfaces from the list for the data plot. Generally, the surface used for XY plot is a line surface. Since we don't have one defined, let's create a new surface. Click on New Surface, select Line Rake from the drop-down. A Line Rake Surface dialog box opens. Here, we can specify the position of the line and rake. We will go with Type Line and enter the coordinate values as shown. Keep the rest as default and click on Create. Close the window and now we can see that the line is added to the list of surfaces. Select the line and click on Save Plot to view the graphical result of the selected variable. The graph is displayed in the graphics window. There are a few additional options to edit the axes and curves of the graph. 
click on Access and the dialog box opens, which gives various options to customize the axis of the plot. Click on Curves and the dialog box opens, where different options like line pattern, color, symbol, weight, etc. are available to customize the appearance of the curve in the plot. Keep all options as default and close the window. The Load File option can be used to add external data to the XY plot, mostly used for comparison purposes. Let's briefly discuss about other options in the Plots group. The Residuals option is the same as the one in the Reports group of the Solution tab. It has already been discussed in detail in a course describing the options in the Solution tab of ANSYS Fluent. Please refer to the particular lesson for more information. Let's look at Data Sources. Clicking on Data Sources opens a Plot Data Sources dialog box. It allows us to combine and plot data from multiple sources such as XY plots, report plots and even external data. Please refer to the user guide for more information. Now we will move to the Reports group. Reports allow us to extract, compute and manipulate solution data. The most common report types are flux reports, force reports, surface integral reports and volume integral reports. Let's discuss about the Fluxes option. Click on Fluxes to open the Flux Reports dialog box. The Fluxes or Flux Reports allows us to compute the mass flow rate, heat transfer rate and radiation heat transfer rate on selected boundary zones. Select mass flow rate from the options window and select inlet and outlet from the boundaries window. Click on Compute to display the numerical value in the results window. The net result of each option is displayed here. We can save an output parameter using this option and also save the results in the desired location by selecting the right pattern. Next, let's move to the Forces option. The Force Reports allows us to compute the forces along a specified vector Moments about a specified center and the coordinates of the center of pressure for selected wall zones. Click on Forces to open the Force Reports dialog box. There are three options. Forces enable the computation of the pressure and viscous forces. Moments enable the computation of the pressure and viscous moments and the center of pressure enables the computation of the coordinates about which the moment by pressure force is zero. The direction vector contains the components of the force vector. Note that this label is visible only when the Forces option button is active. If moments or center of pressure is selected, different options get displayed. Let's keep force selected in options and change the direction vector as shown. Select wall objects from the wall zones window and click on print. The values of pressure and viscous forces are displayed in the console window. Close the Force Report dialog box. Next, we will discuss about the Surface Integrals. The Surface Integrals option allows us to compute the area, mass and volume flow rate, standard deviation, integral, area weighted average, etc. for any quantity on any surface of our choice. Click on Surface Integrals to open the dialog box. We see the first option to select, the report type. There are many report types that can be selected as per requirement. Here we will set up one of the most commonly used types of reports, that is Mass Weighted Average, which computes the mass weighted average value of the selected variable on the chosen surface in the model. The field variable contains a list of variables that can be used in the surface integrations. Note that this option is not active if Area, Mass Flow Rate or Volume Flow Rate option is active. Let's select Temperature as field variable. Select Outlet from the Surfaces list and click on Compute to obtain the temperature at the outlet. The numerical result is displayed here. The results are also displayed in the console window. Once the computation is done, close the dialog box. The Volume Integrals option is similar to that of Surface Integrals. 
in volume integrals report types like mass, sum, volume average, volume integral, etc. can be computed for the selected cell zones. For example, we can compute the volume averaged velocity in a fluid cell zone by setting the type to volume averaged, selecting velocity as the field variable, selecting fluid from the cell zones list and clicking compute. The last item we will be discussing in this lesson is generating a simulation report. Simulation reports in ANSYS Fluent allows us to generate customizable HTML and PDF reports that show not only the results, but can also include details about the problem setup and solution. The simulation report option is in the outline view. Expand the simulation reports option and double click on report outline to view the option in the task page. Current report drop-down gives the option to generate pre-designed reports or create a new report. Let's keep the default selection, that is, new, for the current report. We can add a name to the report in the report name option. Here, in the report sections, we can add or remove the sections from our simulation report. Let's uncheck FFT, Scenes and Animations, and click on Generate to generate the simulation report. The report gets displayed in the graphics window. We can export the report into PDF or HTML format by clicking on the Export option. Let's summarize what we have learned in this lesson. We learned how to perform quantitative post-processing operations to obtain numerical and graphical results in ANSYS Fluent using the Plots and Reports groups of the Results tab. We learned how to plot XY graph, how to combine plot data through data sources, how to compute fluxes, forces, surface integrals and volume integrals, and finish the lesson by generating a simulation report. With this, let's wrap up the lesson.